Hi ladies, um, welcome back. Um, I should actually say ladies and gents. Um, I always forget that, so apologies um, to any viewers out there. Um, yeah, I really should say <laughs> ladies and gents. Um, I just, you know, I completely forget all the time. But anyway, I'm waffling. Um, so yeah, um, I've come on again, just a very quick project share. And um, these are a first to make for me. And they're a little challenge that has been set by a lovely lady here on YouTube. And yes, I've taken on the challenge and um, yeah, I've decided to do them. And I have to say, um, once I kind of got my head around it and um, kind of sat back and thought about it, I really enjoyed it, I have to say. So yeah, fabric pinwheels. So I've made paper ones. I've made hundreds of things probably over the last few years for different projects and stuff that I've done, um, but never attempted a fabric one, I have to say. And then once I started on the fabric one, I just had to make one out of a napkin because I said, I wonder would it work with napkins? And yeah, you can actually do it with napkins as well. So the first one that I've done um, is with fabric. So this is my fabric pinwheel. Um, it is quite large. Um, so you can see it is actually the full length of my hand. It's even longer um, and it's very wide as well. Um, so I've used um, this gorgeous fabric. Um, I've used this on a few bits and pieces. And um, you would have seen in my old craft room as well um, that I would have had some of it on my desk. Um, so yeah, I'm coming towards the end of this and I haven't been able to find it since. And it is a perfect, perfect fabric um, for making the pinwheels. Um, one thing I would say is with making them not a flimsy material because I did kind of go down that route and yeah, it just did not work. Um, no matter what I tried to do to kind of stiffen it up, it still wouldn't kind of hold. Um, so yeah, this is like, um, it's a very heavy duty material. It's like a calico, but it's a printed calico. There probably is a name in it, but I can't, I don't know what the exact name in it. So what I did was, um, I cut out my square and I believe this was six by six, I believe. Yeah, I think I started off with six by six. And what I did was I cut it, I cut out two squares, two six by sixes. And then what I did is um, in between um, the two layers, I put some interfacing, I believe is the name for it. Um, it's the um, stuff, you know, that it's shiny on one side, so it sticks and then it's kind of matte on the other side. Um, I think that's the proper name of it, um, just to give it um, a bit of stiffness. And then what I did was just to give that extra bit more was that um, I sprayed it with some Terial Magic. Um, just to give that bit of sturdiness because you do need it in order to, you know, kind of stay kind of, you know, proud and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is my first one. And I've just put a little bow um, in the center. And um, again, when you attach it, you can put in a little brad. Um, or I saw one um, tutorial on YouTube. I cannot remember the lady. Um, oh, I can't remember what the name of the lady was, but she actually used, which I thought was very clever. But it didn't work for me because this material was too thick. She put um, a safety pin through and then attached it to a pencil, which I thought was actually very clever as well. So I might do some of those, but they would definitely have to be smaller in size because this would be massive um, on a pencil. So that is my first one. So I really enjoyed making that. And then when it came to the um, napkins, yes, had to try it out with the napkin. And these are some napkins that I picked up and I just thought... Um, the colours were gorgeous, again, very summer-like. Um, so, the same concept, I started again with 6x6. Six six. No, I didn't actually. This is actually bigger. I think what I did was, I cut out, yeah, the way that you get, when you open out a napkin, you get four sections. So, what I did was, I used two of the sections. So, that would be bigger, I'd say, probably than 6x6. Six six. I can't actually remember now, but it's two sections, two panels out of the, the one napkin. Um, and what I did was, I actually mod podged the two of them together you know to give them that stiffness and that's how they stayed um kind of firm and again same concept um started out my square and then drew out my um triangles and my cutting points and yeah this is what i'd end up with so it does actually work on napkins as well um it is quite messy i have to say with the napkins but you know if it's something that you know you have plenty of time to kind of you know have fun with it and stuff like that you know, so incredibly clever and such a lovely way to use napkins because I know um, there were so many ladies here on YouTube, um, me for one included, I love napkins and I love thinking of new ideas to use them because, you know, they're such an underused um, item really that we kind of forget about them. So yeah, 
I just had to give it a go with the napkin and that is the image on the back. So it is a beautiful napkin and I love the colours that are in it. And then in the centre I have just put um, this paper die cut and a little um, felt little heart and um, a little coloured little, it's almost like a like a green, a lime green little diamante little flower in the centre. So yeah, that is my project share. Um, I know ladies, there's probably loads of you have made them out there before. They were a first for me and I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed them. And um, such a lovely project, you know, to, you know, if you have an hour or two free, just to have a bit of fun and, you know, create something a little bit different. And I thought it would be a fantastic idea for Happy Mail. And, um, you know, you could make some up and, you know, you could really, 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 you know, go to town on decoration. And um, they're a thing that can be, you know, put anywhere in a craft room um, and don't take up too much room as a Happy Mail. So, yeah, my project share, ladies. Hope you've liked them and hope you've enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll talk to everyone very, very soon.